Hi there folks, thanks for tuning into the Altarpiece. Today I'm showing you the music lessons of our Vacation Bible School program called Martin Luther Discovers the Gospel. It worked really well for us and I do think a Martin Luther VBS might be helpful at your Lutheran church too, so let's get started. <laughs> Now before we get into the songs and the hymns, first you have to know the DNA of the whole music program. These signs were the touchstone of the children's learning at Vacation Bible School. You have grace, faith, and God's word, justified, and doubt. If the children remember nothing else at VBS this year, we wanted them to remember these things. You recognize they include the three solas of the Reformation, grace alone, faith alone, scripture alone. Now the reason people fall away from Jesus Christ, or never come to him at all, is that Satan attacks them in connection with one of these three things, and usually all three. Plus, let me ask you this, can you verbalize right off the top of your head, what does it mean when the Bible says you are justified by faith? It's pretty tough, right? It's not the same as saying we're saved. Justification, justification is the whole shooting match. We can make our job easier as Christians if we get the right words to our children earlier in life. And the challenge, of course, is making it understandable to three-year-olds, but we did our best. Every day we quiz them at the beginning at the end of the day, what does grace mean? What does justified mean? And by the end of the week, praise God, the words had begun to take root. So here's how I defined each word for the young ones. Maybe you could do better. What does grace mean? God loves you for free. And the children literally would yell out these uh, definitions. By the end of the week, they knew exactly what to say. What does faith mean when you believe Jesus died for your sins? What does justified mean? God is happy with you because of Jesus. What does doubt mean? And for doubt, they didn't have something that they memorized, but we explained doubt by stacking up the others and sort of negated it all. Doubt is when you don't know about grace. Doubt is when you don't have faith in Jesus. Doubt is when you don't know you're justified and when you don't listen to the Bible. Now, why do these signs all have hands and feet on them? That's where our music comes in. Each sign was linked to a movement of the body which corresponded to that word whenever you sang it in a song. So, you know, children have movements when they sing. We intentionally planned what those movements were to be theologically. We tied those signs to the front of our space to be a constant reminder of what movement to make when you heard that word and also what that word means. So here's what the movements were. For grace, it's the hands of God opening and showering down his favor for free. Faith is our hands grab hold of the promise and receive it as our own. For God's word, like Luther, we bow the knee and we take our stand on this solid ground. For justified, the hands of Jesus go up as a sign of his crucifixion and as a welcome into his favor. And for doubt, the hand slashes through the unbelief. Now, what songs did we use? Well, we used songs from the Concordia Publishing House Sunday School curriculum called Cross Explorations. They were recordings on CD. That's what we had. Two songs in particular were indispensable to us because they used our key vocab words so well. Not surprisingly, the first one was called the Reformation Song, and the second one was called Without a Doubt. Listen to this chorus on the Reformation Song. It went like this. By faith alone I'm justified. By grace alone I'm saved. We stand upon God's word alone. To Christ alone be praised. There are four of our key words right in the chorus. Uh, these are not weak songs. I was happy to drill this chorus into my head and also into the heads of the children as we went along because it was so fundamental to our identity as Christians. What about hymns from the hymnal? Well, we did hymns from the hymnal. Some of our songs were movement songs with the texture and rhythm you would expect for a children's recording, but we also had hymns because that's what we sing in church and we sang them. Like a mighty fortress, of course, we all believe in one true God, God's own child, I gladly say it. When you put all this together, you get your key theological words in the ears of the children, because you're repeating the words all the time, in their eyes, because they're seeing it visualized on the paper. 
in their minds because you're quizzing them what do these words mean in their hearts because they're singing melodies of these words and in their bodies because they're dancing to them in an interpretive uh, theological way this is catechesis of the whole person it's what lutherans do best really so this video covers the music teaching which of course happened every day but the next video covers specifically all the skits crafts games and snacks for day one and day two when martin luther was growing up and the 95 theses see you then Salve Jesus, Christ, 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 Christ.